Now it is time to bulletproof your business idea. Now this exercise is gonna work whether you have no idea for your business, whether you have an idea for your business, or even if you already have a profitable seven-figure business because it'll allow you to look at your company with different eyes. And I think it's very important for the future of your company and scaling it if you go through this process. So no matter where you are in the spectrum, follow each step and follow each process because we're gonna get some amazing intelligence and some amazing results. So this is where we start off, which is with passion. And again, I invest in passion. I can see passion coming from a mile away, and so can you. And that's what's super important when it comes to your business. So I want you to think about what are you passionate about? And I like to put that in my passion circle here. Passion. Now, now is the time to really brainstorm, or blue sky as they say, and just come up with all sorts of crazy ideas about things that you love doing. And I'm just gonna go with me right now. I love uh, MMA, I love that. I love uh, people, interacting with people. I guess I would say interviewing people. I love doing that. I love video. One of the big things that I love doing is video. In fact, when I went back uh, and looked at some old, old videos, when I was 10 years old, I actually used to interview my grandpa, which is the weirdest thing. So it's something I've been passionate about since I was really young. A lot of times we suppress passions, and when I had to get a real job and get a real career, I studied mechanical engineering, I went to Wall Street, but I was always really passionate about that video. So no matter where you are in your career, go back to your roots, go back to the real passion. That's why this exercise is really important. And just throw things out there. Maybe it's cooking for you, uh, maybe it's video games, uh, maybe it's uh, training. Uh, you know, I love all those things too. So just put that out and really brainstorm now about what you're passionate about. And put that in your passion circle and you can write this down on your workbook and inside the, the Accelerator platform as well. But super important now to really, really brainstorm. The next step is, is your talents. And this is what I call the talent circle. And this circle intersects here and I call it talent. Now, talent and passion are different things. I am passionate about MMA, but I probably shouldn't get into the cage and have my first MMA fight. I think I could do okay, but I might also get my face smashed up because I probably don't have the years and years of talent that's necessary for that. So, but I might have other talents. And if you don't know what your talents are, the best thing to do right now is to go ahead and text or Facebook message five of your friends and family and just say, hey, what am I good at? It's a great way if you haven't talked to someone in a little while and say, hey, what are three things that I'm good at? And it might surprise you. Some people might come back and say, yeah, actually, you are good at, uh, at cooking. You know, that's something you're actually good. You can make a meal. And they might say, Brian, you're actually not good at MMA. And some people might come back here and say, well, Brian, you're actually not good at interviewing. You need to work a little harder on that. And you can really, you know, really brainstorm on what you might be talented with. And some people maybe say you're talented with relationships or some people say you're talented with technology, but this is really the time to brainstorm and get as many ideas because if you leave one of these things off this list, it could be a potential business idea that we might wanna jump onto maybe this week or maybe in a month or three months or a year from now. So it's important to get all of these stuff out there. Really, really brainstorm on what all the possible things. And again, get crazy. You might love underwater basket weaving. You might love traveling to the country of Bhutan. Whatever it is, Get those talents out there and nothing is too crazy because when you think about some of the great businesses that have been created over the years, a lot of them started out with a really weird thing and a weird market niche that then became really big. So go really big here. After you're done with this brainstorming session, it's now time to look where these two things intersect. And this is where things you're passionate about and things that other people have said you're talented about intersect. All right, and so for me, I think video, when I was a kid, people said I could make good videos. I made a short martial arts movie before I started London Real that some people said was good, other people said was rubbish. Um, and I like doing it as well, and so I could see things starting to make a pattern here. And this really is what I call your opportunities. And this is where these things overlap. <clears throat> this is super important because this is gonna tell you where you're getting warm, all right? This is something that you love doing and other people say you have a talent for, 
So within these intersections is a good possibility this is where your business idea lies. So very important to see where these intersect. If you're getting nothing intersecting, go back and go big on your passion and big on your talent again and brainstorm some more. So these are your opportunities. Now, a lot of you are saying, okay, Brian, that's great, but I knew that stuff, what do I do next? Well, now is where it gets fun because now is where I'm gonna share with you something that we invented and created here at London Real, and it's a great way to now road test this intersection. And so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna issue the 10 vlog challenge, all right? Now what's a vlog, Brian? Well, I always say to people that the answer for their future is right in their pocket. And they look at me like I'm out of my mind. What I'm talking about is your smartphone. Most likely you own a smartphone, if not buy one, it's a great investment. But I can hit a button here and I can record a video that's one minute and within about five seconds I can upload it to my Instagram account, to my Facebook account, and to my YouTube account. And I can get feedback from my friends, my family, and the market, literally within minutes. And those people will tell me if I'm on to something here. And they will tell me a lot. And so what I want you to do is this. I want you to pull out your phone right now and I want you to do a one or a two minute video and I want you to talk about one of your opportunities. Now for me that might have been interviewing people, might have been a video, might have been MMA and I just want you to talk about it. It doesn't matter, whatever comes to mind. And I want you to go ahead and post that video right now in the private Facebook group. This way it's with all of us in the class you know, no one's gonna get too crazy. You're gonna see everyone else's video up there, but it's gonna be you talking about something you're passionate about and talented, and we're just gonna start to get a feel for if we think that you're the right person should, talk, should be talking about this. And so that's what you're doing right now. You're actually testing the market to see what they think of you pursuing this potential business opportunity. And so that, just, just to reiterate, the first vlog is gonna be in the private Facebook group. And I want your next four vlogs to be public. And this is where you're gonna post this on your personal Facebook group, your Instagram if it's less than one minute, and your YouTube. Now, I know we're gonna get a lot of resistance here. People are gonna say, well, I can't, my work colleagues shouldn't know that I'm doing this. And I just wanna ask you, are those resistance excuses or are they real excuses? And most of the time, they're not real. But this is super important because we need to test the market. And this is the final circle that I wanna share with you that intersects beautifully here, and this is what I call the market circle. And what we do is we test the market to see if they resonate your, with your ideas. And when we, when we do that, we find that a certain part of the market resonates with what you're talented with and what you're passionate. And inside here, you have what I call the golden triangle. And inside the golden triangle, this is really where your business opportunity lies. Because this is where your passion intersects with your talent, intersects with people in the market, really feeling for what you're talking about. And that is very, very important. And inside here, ultimately lie what I call your market opportunities. And there, where these ideas resonate, or where your business idea is gonna come from. And this is very, very important because some of the things that overlock your passion and your talent are gonna be up here. And you're gonna talk about it and say, you know, I really love MMA because uh, it's more fun than boxing. And you're gonna find the market is like, eh, we don't really resonate with you talking about that. But some of you are gonna start talking about something you're passionate about and people are gonna ask more questions on those vlogs or they're gonna like the vlog or they're gonna share that vlog on their own page and say, hey, can you talk more about this? Can you explain more about this? That is the market reacting to you and your passion and your energy. And that tells you where you need to go next on your search for the perfect business idea. Okay, you've published your first five vlogs after you brainstormed your passion and your talent and you got some feedback. You've identified your golden triangle. Super important. Now, I need you to go talk to your mom. But it's not what you think. Around here at London Real Studios, mom means one thing, and that is your market opportunity map. And this is very, very important. And I'm gonna get to the mom very, very shortly here. But before we talk about mom, I want you to take that golden triangle and I want you to just start brainstorming and think, what are 10 ways I can make money 
while continuing to talk about those things that were popular on your vlogs. And I want you to just list 10 different ways that you could possibly make money doing it. Maybe it's selling a service around that. Maybe it's teaching someone. Maybe it's writing a book. Maybe it's being a consultant. Any way you might be able to make money around what was in that golden triangle. Super important that you just start thinking of what those business ideas. And I want you to write 10 down on the Accelerator platform and on your workbook. And again, just make a list of 10 things. And again, you can just go super crazy. But anything around that golden triangle, I want you to take 10 things and just think about them out loud. And go ahead and write those down and give yourself a little time and a little bit of space. And then I want you to go in and pick the top three. The ones that you think are the best, most credible business idea that of course still lie in the triangle of your talents, your passion, and of course the market. And after that's done, I want you to then talk to your mom. Now the market opportunity map is very simple. It's got two axes here and here. This one is online and this one is offline. I'll explain more about this shortly. And this is your network and this is the internet and also the market as a whole. Now these four quadrants are very, very, very important because these are gonna tell you whether this is a credible business idea that can actually make money because I don't want you to pursue something that just you're passionate about, that just you're talented in, that other people say they like if it doesn't actually have some potentially solid business practices, revenue streams, etc. So again, very important that we take this exercise very seriously, no matter where you are in the business spectrum right now. So first of all, we published our vlogs, all right? And those vlogs we published online in our own network, on Facebook, on people following us on Instagram. So we've already tested this quadrant here, and we've had some success. So you've got one win. You're here in this quadrant, and it's giving you the thumbs up. We like what you're doing. But there's a few other tests that we wanna do. The next test I want you to do is I want you to test again online, but I want you to go to the entire market or the entire internet. The way we do that is a very simple exercise, and we wanna use and harness the most powerful marketing tool that's ever been created in the history of man. And it's a tiny little company located in Silicon Valley called Facebook. And Facebook offers a free service to you and it allows you to go ahead and do a keyword search on the market and find out how many people are out there with those interests that are expressing interest in those things, what their ages are and what countries they're into. And we have a short video that will show you how to use the ad section of Facebook uh, in our resource center. And so you can watch this after that. It's actually very simple, but it's a great way to test the keywords to see how big the audience is. And again, it's an incredible tool. If you don't know how to use it, use it now. And you don't ever have to spend a single dollar on Facebook to actually use it. And so you're gonna go into the ad section of Facebook and you're gonna type in the keywords for what you've been talking about in your vlogs. Now say for example, um, I wanted to use dogs or dog training as an example, because it's very general. We all have dogs. We kind of know the market roughly in our idea. So I'm gonna use that as something we can talk about. What I can do is I can go in to Facebook and I can type in, okay, in the US and the UK and uh, in a couple other countries, what's the size of the market for say dogs, people that have the express the interest in dogs. So in Facebook, dog training comes up with millions and millions of people. It's just too many customers for you to focus on. So if we go a little bit deeper and type in dog training for expats, you'll find that it's about 400,000 people that are out there in the marketplace. But I find that this is still a little bit too big of a market for you to really focus on because ideally we want to start with our 1,000 true fans and I'm going to talk about that more in module one. So I'd like to start off with a marketplace of roughly about 200,000 people in your Facebook audience. So if we continue drilling down in Facebook to dog training for expats for pet sitting, you get an audience of around 200,000 people. And this is what I really want you to look for when it comes to narrowing down your idea in this quadrant. I want you to look for 200,000 people in this Facebook ad piece that are interested in what you're trying to talk about in your market opportunity. And that 
is a perfect place where your micro niche exists, which we'll talk about more in the next module, and that's where you're gonna find your 1,000 true fans. I prefer 200,000 people, but anywhere between 20,000 and 200,000 is fine. But it doesn't stop there, because right now we've done our research online, but I don't believe that's where it stops. So many entrepreneurs, they get on Google, they get on Facebook, and they decide that's where their business is. I don't believe that. I think you really need to go offline. And so if we continue with our dog training example, that would mean next, I want you to go to where the market is, but also offline. And for there would be a place, like go to a dog show. So you would go into that dog show and you would walk around on the booths and you would see what are the services they're selling? Well, there's grooming, there's uh, of course pet sitting, which we talked about. There's all the different products, there's dog universities, all the different things. And all of those business ideas can really start percolating and you can start to see whether your idea is better or worse than what you see happening there. And so that's super important. Test your idea here in this quadrant and see if it holds water. And finally, I want you to go into your own network or your local network offline. And these are entrepreneurs that you might know, that you trust. It could be a local pet store that you've walked by before. And I want you to go in and really talk to that person and say, look, I'm thinking about doing this market. I'm thinking about selling this. Does this sound like it's a good idea for you? And these are an amazing way to really bulletproof that business idea and find out if there's people out there that are willing to support your business. And I'm looking always for three things. Are there buyers of your product? Are there people out there that are currently paying money for your product? And you can check that out easily by searching the internet for your niche, by going to those dog shows and seeing if there are people buying those products. That's a great thing. The next thing I want you to determine, are there people that are selling your product? Super important. A lot of people, when they see competitors, they get scared and they say, oh, I can't do that business. Not true. A competitor shows you there's a market that exists. All you have to do is make that product slightly different. Make it your own. Make it in your own country. Make it for a demographic that's just like you. And all of a sudden you have a business. So I think competitors are a good sign. If you don't see any competitors in your market, that's where I would really start to worry. And finally, I keep coming back to this, I want you to be thinking about your 1,000 true fans. And I'm gonna cover this more in module one, but it's a great way to get really micro on your market and think about satisfying a very small group of people. And then once that's done, then we go bigger and bigger and bigger. And so this is your market opportunity map, and it's a perfect way to test your idea or if you don't have an idea, to go ahead and create one. And even if you have a business that's already online, it's really interesting to go through here and start doing these tests on Facebook, to start checking things out both offline, and to even start your vlogging and see if there might be other products that you're not thinking about or other avenues of revenue that might spring up in your head. So this mom exercise is crucial, and it's actually something we still do here at London Real when it comes to launching our new products and even looking at our old products. We're constantly using this Facebook tool Tool. Again, it's a super undervalued asset. Go into Facebook, go out on the offline if you have to, make sure you've tested it with those vlogs and really try to find out what works about it and what doesn't. I want you to give me feedback. And then finally, I want you to choose one idea, your best idea, and I need you to tell me why you chose that idea. Now you've bulletproofed your business idea, you've consulted your mom, and you've chosen the best business idea possible. Again, don't overthink this. I'd rather have a good business idea now than a great one weeks from now. So go with your gut and choose one.